2025. Starships land on the surface of Mars to establish a human settlement on Mars. On the other hand, millions of people have protested in the world. Elon Musk is against a man. People are saying that this man is going to destroy Earth and destroy Mars. Religious leaders of the world have issued fatwas. Even Elon Musk will not be spared if something bad happens to Mars. Elon Musk has claimed that within 10,000 days he will make Mars habitable. So let's find out what will happen on Mars in the first 10,000 days. 16th April 2025 Five cargo starships land on Mars. All the people of the world look at the historical moment. All the essentials are for landing these five starships. Like solar panels, fuel, oxygen, water backup dry fuel. Provides waste management systems, testing equipment, and life support systems. One of these cargo ships has already placed the Starlink communications network in orbit around Mars. Only four Starlink satellites were required for this communication. Solar panels will be placed on Mars in an area the size of a football field. Because Mars is so far away from Earth, these solar panels cannot produce as much energy as Earth. Boston Dynamics robot has also been sent to Mars and is now starting to build a base on Mars. First, the rover and robot deploy and set up the solar panels. Fuel production experiments begin on Mars. The rovers begin digging on Mars. So that we can extract hydrogen from the water ice deposits present under the Martian surface. And remove CO2 from the atmosphere. Through which water, oxygen, and methane can be increased. Beyond that, multipurpose rovers begin to orbit the Martian surface. In order to build a large landing pad where future landings will be made safely. All this works. Another two years and two months passed. By that time, Earth and Mars had moved closer to each other. Which is the perfect time to send humans to Mars. Mars witnessed a historic event. In the deserts of Mars billions of years. Life is about to step there for the first time. All the inhabitants of the world see this historical moment. Two starships land on Mars. Among them are brave astronauts. These also come with two additional cargo starships. They contain necessary equipment and life support systems. Some of these astronauts are scientists and engineers. Some are medical specialists and some are general workers. Those from scientific background. And they are going to live on Mars for the next two years and two months. Whose purpose is to turn man into a multiplanetary civilization. These astronauts have been traveling in space for seven months. Due to living in low gravity, people experience low blood pressure and weak muscle strength. Due to which in the first week they become familiar with the Martian atmosphere and gravity. So that we can get used to living here. They also celebrate their historic moments on Mars. Our brave warriors on Mars spend their time inside starships. The environment outside is quite harsh with temperatures as low as minus 63 degrees Celsius. At the same time, this temperature reaches a maximum of 20 degrees Celsius at the equator during summer on Mars. In addition, major cyclones are common on Mars. Weather satellites on Mars monitor the climate here. So that the astronauts can be informed about the incoming storm. Two years of work began. A day on Mars is a little over 24 hours. It is easy for astronauts to pack, unpack and lift heavy objects. Because the gravity here is 38% less than that of Earth. As soon as all life support systems are unpacked and deployed on Mars. After this, the process of making cryomethane fuel begins. Which can be used to return to Earth. Apart from this, other astronauts started experiments here. This project seeks to transform the Martian planet into a three-dimensional object. On the other hand, plants are grown on Mars under the Green Project. 
NASA is already developing genetically modified plants for Mars. The soil of Mars should be dug and planted directly. Experiments on cyanobacteria have begun in an ocean-based lab, which has been sent from Earth to Mars. This process produces ammonia fertilizer from nitrogen present in the Martian atmosphere. Mustard, radish, tomato beans, carrots and onions are grown here. While this work is going on on Mars, two starships are being built every week on Earth. Each starship costs $5 million to build, and thus 104 starships are built a year. Every two years and two months, Earth and Mars are closest and whenever this time comes, cargo ships prepare to launch. After two years and two months on Mars, a starship returns to Earth, carrying 30 astronauts who have been on Mars for two years. Now 76 new humans have arrived on Mars, most of them architects, accompanied by four people who paid $50 million for the trip. Apart from this, the rest of the crew members are engineers, botanists and farmers. The first small greenhouse dome is built on Mars and many plants are grown here. These people eat fresh salad after landing on Mars. Now the amount of food produced by agriculture on Mars is increasing, which reduces the need for food sent from Earth. SpaceX begins building Depot X here, i.e. a permanent dedicated fuel station. Various faucets outside the residence are now manufactured using AI and 3D printing. Elon Musk's brother Kimball Musk is working with his team on Mars to grow vegetables. Settlers experimented with underground mining to live here. In order to build underground domes and send this data to the boring company. At this time, all the space agencies of the world sent their scientists and equipment to Mars. Jeff Bezos bought the domain Amazon.Mars, the first website on Mars. The new Starship through builds an aquaponic greenhouse system and brings fish with it. By now a lot of water has formed in the quarter. The next lounge awaits on Earth with many Starship passengers. 2035 years, which will be known as the Great Crossing. Earth and Mars are closest in history this year. And the journey time of the new passenger will now be reduced from 7 months to just 5 months. All new crew members landed on Mars with autonomous 3D printers creating a Mars base on Mars. All the international hobbits together form an interconnected dome the size of a large city. Construction of the first hospital on Mars begins. As facilities on Mars are increasing, more and more people are starting to live on Mars. Now humans are also starting to come to Mars who want to live here permanently. A thousand people started living in the colony built on the land. Smart scale TV shows are shown on Mars. All Earthlings and Martians see the first wedding on the beach. Work begins on underground habitats on Mars. And here begins the experiment of digging underground tunnels. And Mars began to live underground. A robotic base is built far away from the human base. Also started construction of small residences. Various architectural residences of different countries tend to be built on the sea. Now the first human baby is born on the beach. That means the birth of the first real Martian. Scientists examine the health of the child and the mother. Now rich people are starting to come to Mars. Who can afford to get to Mars? All travelers contribute to building a civilized society on Mars. The first marginal political system was formed by the first 10,000 people on Mars. Local policies are made to accommodate Martians. The people of the first society on Mars supported each other and formed a self-sustaining society. The first bioprinted drug, Resiterum, also hits the market. And begins to build a fun palace on Mars. And this is how Mars became the second world.